Hey friends, just wanted to read a story to you today. It's a beautiful day outside. I hope you're outside playing. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to be online these last couple of weeks. We are not um, currently at home, so you may notice there's a little bit of a change in the background. Um, we're living in a different home right now because our house was part of the damage that um, the storm was a part of last weekend or actually two weekends now ago and so I'm gonna read a story to you today and um, I hope you're gonna really like it and hopefully I'll be able to read to you from now on since we're a little more settled so the name of our story today is the sandwich swap you may have read this story before in kindergarten but it's a really good story and I wanted to read it for you this afternoon it's written by Kelly DiPuccio and Trisha Tusa. It all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it ended with a hummus sandwich. Salma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. And they played on the swings together. There's their artwork. They jumped rope together. And they ate their lunches. But just what they ate was a little different. Lily ate peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. And Salma ate her hummus and pita sandwich every day for lunch. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought Selma's sandwich looked really weird and yucky. And she felt terrible that her friend had to eat the icky chickpea paste every day. Ew, yuck. And although Selma never said it out loud, she thought Lily's sandwich looked really strange and gross. She felt awful that her friend had to eat that ooey gooey peanut butter paste every day. Ew, gross. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say? Sama asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said, your sandwich looks really yucky. Sama frowned. She looked down at the thin, soft bread and she thought to her beautiful, smiling mother as she carefully cut Salma's sandwich into two neat, two neat halves that morning. Her feelings turned mad. Yeah, well, your sandwich looks really gross and it smells bad too, Salma snapped back. Lily looked surprised. She sniffed the thick, squishy bread and she thought of her dad in his silly apron whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. <gasps> Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. It does too. Ew. Yuck. Ew. Gross. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures. They did not swing. And they did not jump rope together. The next day, Salma ate her lunch at the table, and Lily ate at another table. Meanwhile, the peanut butter versus the hummus story had spread and everyone began choosing sides. Each side had something not so nice to say to the other. Peanut butter breath, jelly heads, garlic breath, chickpea brains. Pretty soon, the rude insults had nothing at all to do with peanut butter or hummus. You're weird, you're stupid, you're lo you look funny, your dress is dumb. And then it happened, somebody yelled. Food fight! And peanut butter and hummus sandwiches 
other favorite lunches began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls, they stuck to the ceiling, they even stuck to the lunch lady. When the sandwiches were all gone, pudding cups and applesauce, carrot sticks took flight. Salma and Lily looked at one another from across the rowdy splattered room and they both felt ashamed by what they saw. They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office. After they had helped clean up the mess, the following day, Salma set her lunch down across from Lily. The two girls nibbled on their sandwiches in silence. And finally, Lily got up the courage to speak. Would you like to try a bite of my peanut butter and jelly? Salma grinned. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I think I'd like that too. On the count of three. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hmm, that's not too bad. Yummy, hey, it's delicious. This is heavenly. And the girls giggled and hugged. And then they traded sandwiches. After lunch, Salma and Lily met the principal again. This time, they were there to suggest a very special event for the whole school. And that's how it began. With a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. They're all swapping their foods. I hope that you can be kind to the people that are in your home and you can say nice things and be um, a little more, um, maybe patient with people that are around you in your house right now. I know it's hard to be with friends and family and not be able to go outside or go to places you love or see people that you want to. So I just want you to remember the two friends in a sandwich shop and even though they thought the things that each other had were not so great, they ended up seeing eye to eye in the end because they were learning new things and trying new things. Um, hope you enjoyed our story and I will hopefully, hopefully see you again tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.